Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So I had a special request for Monsters, Inc. And so I brought in these three characters. They're all design space images. Um, so you can follow along as well. And it's a great practice. Um, even if you don't go to make it, then you won't be charged. So we can still just bring in the images, work on our technique and get going. So um, I had an inquiry for the three characters together. So when I do have characters as a set, I do try to size them accordingly. So I size the big guy. Um, I did 27 inches because I wanted to make sure that he was going to look wonderful, seamless, basically. Um, and his belly was an issue. I mean, as well as the blue over here, but at least you can see his legs are broken up, right, into two separate pieces. And then we have the belly taking, you know, pl taking up some room right here. I can work with a little bit here and there, but the belly was going to be maxed out at 11 and a half inches. So that's how I got to 27 inches. For Mike, I got him to be 16 inches because I felt that just in comparison to the 27 inches that he was should be about that size and then Boo's just a little bit smaller than that. So I've done the videos for Boo and for Mike. So what's left is James. Um, so let's get rid of these characters and I'm going to leave the balloons in because I think I'm going to need the balloons to help break up some of this blue over here. So let's delete this. Let's leave the balloons in for now. So what you need to do is go into images and search for Monsters, Inc. And when you search, because Monsters is in the title or in our search bar, um, you're going to get other monster items. So I like to um, narrow down my search by just clicking on the brand and clicking on Disney. And that should get you to here. Here's the first one that I did. Here's the other one. And then Boo is right over here. So you select on it and click insert images. I've already done that, so I won't be doing that again. Okay, and the balloons are also available in images. So just search for balloons. The reason why I picked these balloons is because um, it has an outline so that way my outline I can change it so that it matches this black outline So it's part of the image and then the balloons go on top All right, so at 27 inches We know that this is perfect. This is 9 inches by 12.71 Don't worry that it's 12.71 because when we rotate this image We can change the dimensions so you see it, this um, the width got longer, so it went from 8 point something to 9.2, but this reduced down to 12.4. So if I continue to rotate it, doing nothing else, I'm not changing, I'm not shrinking it, I'm not doing any of that, okay? So now I got this to be 11.8 by 10.4. Technically, as is, I can get that to cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. It will just ask me to put it on a 12 by 24 piece uh, mat, and it thinks I'm using 12 by 24 cardstock, but I'm just gonna line my cardstock all the way up to the 12 inch line and it will cut this for me. So that's why this piece is okay, even though when you rotate it properly, what is this green thing in here? Oh, I don't know where that green thing came from. Is that, oh, that's his nose. Okay, his nose got dislocated. <laughs> all right, um, so let me just move this back so you can kind of see. All right, where we have our problem areas is going to be a lot of this blue. So I was hoping to have the balloons somewhere like this. So he's kind of holding on to the balloons um, and it will break up this arm. So this arm will, will be its own piece. And then I just have this piece left. So let's kind of see how big of a piece we're working with. So let's, um, what we wanna do is he is already unattached. So let's look at this piece right here. It is big. Um, well, let's get rid of the feet for now, the legs, because the legs are its own piece, so we don't need that. So let's go to contour. And as soon as it pops up, we will get rid of the legs. Oh, we need to get rid of all those pieces. Okay, so let's hide all for a second. 
All right, let's see how big this top portion is. So this top portion is 23 inches by 19. So by cutting it here, this, this length right here, this should be fine. All right, so I almost feel like it would be easier to have the balloons on this side because you have a big purple spot right here. So if we did a seam right here, it would be minimal. So I almost feel like the balloons should be on this side. We'll do a seam here and then we'll extend his face. Okay, so I think I've got the plan. So let's do that. Um, let's go back and where is it? Here's the body. Let's go back contour and click hide all so that we can show all. So we want it to go back to its original, okay. So all right, so this is what we have. So what I wanna do is I, let's move the purple out of the way. Okay, so we can kind of see where everything is. All right, so if we move the purple out of the way, we know we wanna slice this all the way through right here. And in fact, I would do a deliberate cut. So let's go to text and search for I Love Glitter. I Love Glitter is a downloaded font from DaFont, so D-A-F-O-N-T, and I used it for all three characters for Monsters, Inc., so if you're doing a Monsters, Inc. party, you need to download this font. It's free, it's good, I've been using them forever. So click on this. You want the character to the right of the letter P. It is a square bracket, okay? And what that will give you is this beautiful little glyph. Give me a second to bring it over. It's this guy right here. So you see how there's like a little bit of a curve because his arm has a little bit of a curve right here. So you can't do something straight because it would be too obvious. So this width I think matches this. So let's go to flip this. I'm gonna flip it vertically because I want this to be facing down and I want this to cut like something like this. Let's see what we have here. Um, I know, I'm, I'm looking. Okay, so imagine this little cut right here, okay? I'm gonna bring this back for a second. And I'm gonna put this, arrange, send to the front. So you see how the arm goes through right here? You wouldn't know that we extended this a little bit, right? But by extending it, we're going to make this arm its own piece. And it's going to look good. There's no way that you would think it doesn't belong there. So let's move the purple out of the way. What we wanna do is we wanna grab the glyph, and then we also wanna grab him. So the blue portion only. So over here in the right-hand side panel, let's scroll down so we see him. Here's the blue. You wanna hit the shift key and click on the blue and slice. So that's gonna look really, really good actually. <laughs> um, so let's move out these things. We don't need this. I mean, this by itself doesn't look good, but once you put the purple spots on, And let's bring this to the front, arrange, send to the front. Right, once you put that on, that is not noticeable. It just looks like that's the way his arm goes. It, the crease goes all the way over. So that looks good. So now what we need to do is let's duplicate this image at least a few times. And let's remove the legs and the tail so that we know what we've got going on, okay? So here's our first image. Let's go to contour. And we want to, let's hide all. Let's see what we have. So it leaves us the top part. Um, so I want this, this. Oh man, I can't see, okay. All right. So I want, 
this, this. I want all the cuts, right? So here's my leg. Oh, it's not letting me do it. Where is it? Where's that little cut? Um, is it this one? There. Okay, so here's my leg. I don't want this top part. So my leg is 9.9 .9 by 7.3. So that's this bottom part. So it's going to look perfect. Then let's get this other leg. Go to contour. Hide all. And then click on this to get to 100%. I want this leg and I want these little toe thingies. Um, there. And I don't want this. And this leg is 7.4 by 5.5. Perfect. Now let's get this arm. Okay, so let's contour. Hide all. I want the arm and I don't want the body. So my arm, oh, yes, my arm is 9.9 .9 by 10.2. So we can cut this on the Cricut, right? Now we're on the main image. So on the main image now, we can get rid of the arm, the leg, the leg, and these little parts here. There, I feel like I'm seeing things. Okay, so now we're just left with the body, with this top part. This top part is still really, really big, right? But we can put these arms, the arm back, put the purple to the front, arrange sun to the front, and we're just piecing it together so that we know what we're dealing with, right? We're, we're basically at this point dealing with all our problem issues, <laughs> all our little issues and making sure that it all works. So we've got this settled down. So now let's look at this. If we, okay, so what we want to do is if we like where this balloon is, so I'm going to duplicate it, okay? because we need to duplicate it because we know that's where we want it. Um, but in this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it right where, right over where it is and we're going to weld it. We just want it to be an outline so that we can, um, and this will help me line it up some more. Okay, so we want it, I'm gonna move it over just a little bit. Okay, that's gonna be good enough for me. We want to take this outline or this, you know, overall shape of the balloon and hit the shift key, grab the top part of his body and we're going to slice. So by slicing, we're, we're moving this out of the way, moving this out of the way. So you see our blue now is gonna be in pieces. So our blue is gonna be in one, two, three, four. So let's duplicate it a few times so that we have our pieces. All right, so this first one, let's contour. And we want to hide all. I want this piece, I don't want this piece. So let's see how big our arm is. Our arm is 5.25 by 11.824. Not a big deal because we know we can rotate it and it will fit. Let's go to the next piece, contour. It's a lot of work, right? But what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a 27 inch, big old perfect photo prop that is gonna be seamless and beautiful. And that's what we want. Otherwise, you're gonna have seams everywhere and it's gonna be distracting. You might as well not even have it because it's, the seams are gonna show up in the photos. So um, I just, I just don't like it. <laughs> all right, let's hide all. Okay, I want this little piece right here. I don't want this. These little pieces are gonna be tiny and we know it's gonna fit perfectly fine. So where is that piece? I think it's right. Oh, where are you? Oh, you know what? I didn't, did I not get rid of everything else? Hold on. Let's go back to contour. I didn't click hide all. That's the problem. Okay. So I want this piece, but I don't want this piece. So that's the tiny piece. So here we go. I'm going to put it aside 
Then on this one, I want this big sliver over here, contour, and I'm gonna hide all. I want this one and I don't want the face, so I'm good there. Okay, so those are my slivers. So then on this one, I can get rid of all those little pieces. So let's get rid of this. This little dot, it's gone forever. All right, so I'm getting that. So now we have just this big piece left, our last problem piece, okay? So he is definitely a little bit too big. So he is, I don't know what to do. I don't know if extending this piece down here, um, so then it's still really long though. Or do we, we might have to do both. We might have to extend this piece down and then also make his face. So extend this cut here and extend it up here. I think that's gonna be our best bet. So I am going to get rid of these. Okay, and let's go back to text and let's bring in that square bracket again. Okay, so we have it right here. Make it big so it matches, you know, matches the width of our piece. And I'm gonna need a few of these, so let's duplicate it a few times. Whew. I know, I don't love this because now we're really slicing into things. Like this was covered up by this spot, but he's so big, this is what we need to do. So, all right, let's do this. Let's rotate this a little bit to kind of match up. Oh, hold on. Okay. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good, right? Okay, so we've got that glyph. Let's scroll down to where we see this big old piece that's left. Hit the shift key, it's right here. And we're gonna slice. And then we're gonna remove. We have to remove carefully because our glyph extended all the way into the blue over here. So we're going to need to, to weld him back up together, okay? So just give me a second here. Okay, so this is the blue piece, right? So let's go to contour. What we don't want is we don't want this piece anymore, but we still want this piece over here. So we're gonna take that piece, which is already selected, hit the shift key, we're gonna grab back this face, and we're going to weld it back together. So it's as if we never did anything right here. And look at that face. That face looks, <laughs> and giving myself a pat on the back. That face looks good. That looks like part of the drawing. Um, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> let's grab this and delete this. Let's go and continue and let's try to extend that up, okay? So let's see. Let's rotate this a little bit. Ah, hold on, undo. Okay, let's get this glyph into place and see if we can do an equally good cut. Okay, so let me bring that to the front. Arrange, send to the front so we can see it. Okay. Um, I don't, okay, hold on. I think I'm gonna need to move it down a little bit. There right there okay so we've got the glyph hit the shift key grab the face and slice and again because our glyph kind of extended past everything we're going to need to put him back together okay so let's grab this out of the way 
grab this out of the way. Okay, so here's our blue. What we want to get rid of is, let's look at this. Let's click on the contour. And we basically, I think we want to just get rid of this one. I could be wrong. Let's see. Uh, contour. Hold on. That looks bad. His face looks bad. Maybe this one and not this one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we want to grab this and his face and weld it back together. Oh no. What did I just do? I didn't extend it. Okay. That didn't go well. That didn't look good. So I'm sort of glad we're back to where we were. Um, you know what? I wonder if we should... I'm not in love with this. Okay. Um, I wonder if we should... Ex Can we put anything else? You know what? What if we brought in one more balloon? I know it's ridiculous, but let's go to images. I don't, I feel like I can't do anything more right there. So let's go and look at balloons. And this time we're just gonna do a single balloon. So it's not the whole big three. Oh, hold on, I don't want Disney, I just want balloons. Okay, we need to find one with an outline, okay? So it has to have layers. Here's our first one with all those layers, right? This time I want just a single balloon, so not too distracting. Um, let's see. Still looking. Where are all the balloons that I've used recently? I've used a lot of balloons in my projects. Um, I think I blew past them. Okay, I, sorry, let me go back to the top. I want a single balloon. I mean, I guess this would work. So let's click on this, insert image, and we're just gonna get rid of the other balloons, okay? Don't worry. I know they look horrible right now. Okay, where are my balloons? They're coming in. Okay, let's make it big. And I think I want this balloon in the middle. So let's ungroup it. And let's go to the first blue and contour. I don't want this baby balloon right here. So let's get rid of that. Let's go to our black image, contour. I don't want this or this, right? I don't want that. There we go. And I don't want that. What happened here? I think my thing is too slow. Okay, hold on. It didn't disappear. Okay, this one I'm gonna delete. Okay, so then back to this one, contour. I need to get rid of this. Why is it? There. Okay, I'm left with a single balloon. Let's group it so that it moves together and gets resized together, okay? So grab these two and group. And let me get rid of these. And actually, let me get rid of this slice result. It got grouped in with my balloon. Okay, so the balloon, let's make it a little bit smaller. It's about, it's a little bit on the smaller side, but it's okay. Maybe we'll have it, no, it needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay. See, this is good. See, so this cuts this piece right here from this piece. So I like it. I'm gonna duplicate this and weld that piece so I just have one big balloon, right? Put it over exactly where it should be. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the balloon and I'm gonna grab the blue 
and slice. Okay, let's see what we have now. So now with our blue, let's duplicate it because we're gonna have two separate pieces, right? Let's get rid of this balloon. We don't need this balloon. Uh, we don't need, okay, so there's our two blues. Okay, so go to contour. On this one, we're gonna get rid of this. So it leaves us just the face. 8.8 .8 by 9.6, perfect. He's going to be seamless because he's got a lot of balloons. <laughs> this piece, contour, hide all. I want this piece, I don't want this piece. And this guy, 7.6 by 9.6, holy moly, all right. So this is where he goes. And I've got the balloon. Okay, so the balloon, let's make that balloon a different color just so that he's not matching. Let's make it also this pink. Okay, so he's going right here-ish. Um, all right, so we've got our pieces. I mean, so you kind of see Let's put him really back together so you can see what he looks like. So the balloon is gonna go in the front, arrange sent to the front. All right. Um, feel like I'm missing some pieces here. What's going on here? That piece is good. Is this piece not lined up? Or is he lower? He's lower, that's why it looks so weird. I'm like, why is there so much black there? Okay, let's put this back together. And I'm gonna put the spots to the front. Hold on, where are my purple spots? Click on my purple spots, arrange, send to the front. And then we can put this little sliver back in here this little sliver back over here. And we'll put the spots underneath because the balloons will go over. So actually the balloons arranged sent to the front. Okay, so when you piece them together, and actually this balloon needs to be in the front as well, arranged sent to the front. This is what he's going to look like. So let me get rid of this. We don't need this. And we don't need this. This is what he's gonna look like. He is gonna be seamless because we have all these um, balloons in the front. You can put the age on this one. You could put initials, name. You can do a lot of things. But overall, he is going to be seamless. In fact, you could probably make him a little bit bigger now because his belly is sliced up into pieces but that's how you take something with you know just a few colors you have to be a little bit creative um, to make this work and I think this looks pretty darn cute especially when you start to layer in the name or the age um, like if you had a six and you had multiple layers of the six it's gonna pop out on the balloon it's actually gonna be really really cute um, and if you wanted these swirls, I wonder if we can duplicate these swirls. Oh, you can. See, you can just take this and duplicate it to make the um, this balloon match that balloon. So you could do that if you didn't, if you weren't doing the age. I would do something like that. Okay, so. Now what you want to do is we still need to do some work. So you want to grab your balloon, duplicate it, because now we're doing the background, okay? So we need to get the black background to look just like this, and we're adding the two balloons. So that one is there. We're going to duplicate this as well. And all right, we're going to put this right over it. Okay. So we're grabbing the, this balloon, this set of balloons, scroll down, 
We are also grabbing, hit the shift key, we're grabbing this set of balloons and then we are grabbing our black background. So scroll, here's our black background. Hit the shift key and grab this. And weld. Okay, so now our black background includes the balloons so you know where everything goes. This right here, so actually you don't need on this set of balloons, you don't need any of the backgrounds. So let's see if we can find them. That would be the pink. Hit the shift key, the aqua, the teal, and the yellow. You can delete that because that's part of the background. These will sit on top. Same thing with this balloon. We don't need the background of that because now it's included in the background. Oops, hold on, let me undo that. What did I do? Let me go back to this balloon and what happened here? Okay, so I, I wanna get rid of this one. Why didn't it? Huh, weird, it took the whole thing even though it should not have. So I'll ungroup it. There, okay. So now everything is where it should be, except for, what is this black? This black we can get rid of. What is that? There it is. Okay. And okay. So now we need to slice out all these pieces. So this piece, this is big. He's now 25 inches across and 30, almost 34 inches long. So he's, he's a big guy now. So I'll show you how to do that afterwards. For all these pieces, we need to undo them. Um, oh man, the balloon is a headache. The balloon has the white. Oh my gosh, okay. I picked quite the balloon to deal with. And let's see how big this balloon is. Okay, so the balloon I would separate right here so it looks like it's the balloon and then a string. So what you need to do is you just need to slice that out. So let's deal with this balloon first. And I feel like you guys probably are done watching <laughs> and you don't need to see the rest. You wanna just see how I got this far. So let me pull this up and I'm on this one because this is a more complicated one I'm going to assume that you guys know how to do how to slice things out and make them separate so on this one I would do this and then I'm gonna go do the background okay so let's slice that out so your balloon is going to be balloon and then the string so that way, the string is something that you can cut, right? So it's 3.2 by 10. All right, so moving all that aside, let's save this guy. Um, he's James at 27 inches, and I'm gonna say 34 inches, because with the balloons, he's 34. Okay, I'm just gonna move, okay, Woo. <laughs> I'm gonna move all this aside, okay, because you know how to deal with that. Let's look at this one. Let's build our grid of squares, okay? So, um, he's gonna be a lot of squares. So let's bring in our first square. Make it 11 by 11, because I don't like dealing with half inches, okay? And so we need three across and four down. So 12 squares, okay? So our first square, just put it somewhere with the image and we're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 22.3 becomes 22, 1.7 becomes two. So going over 22 and going down two is the beginning of our square. We're gonna duplicate it. 
put this one really close to this one and then same thing 33 and 2 we're rounding to the nearest whole number so let's check our math 22 is the beginning here plus the 11 inches is 33 and this is 33 perfect let's duplicate and get this one right over here and that's going to be 44 and 2. So these three are completely flush with each other. So just hit the shift key and grab these three and duplicate. Because they're already flush with each other, we'll just grab, duplicate that and make it flush with the top set up here. And so 21.9 becomes 22, 13.2 becomes 13. Then we can grab all six squares. So hit the shift key grab, 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 and duplicate. So we've got our grid of squares. And then you're gonna put it down here, really close. So 22 is good, 24.2 becomes 24. Okay, let's go to our right-hand side panel, scroll all the way down. We don't need this black one, this gray one. It's already hidden, but I'm just gonna delete it. I don't want to get messed up <laughs> and then let's see where our guy is here's our guy um, arrange send to the front and right now I'm gonna zoom in because we want to see where we're slicing it okay we want big pieces as much as we can so let's see if we did something like So this balloon will be cut off, but it's still a pretty big piece. So this square right here is the three balloons. This square up here is this balloon, the horns, part of the face. I don't love this right here, but sometimes it just is what it is. Um, let's see what we have here. We don't have that much room to move anymore, but I almost feel like maybe we should move this over. Just so that this balloon is pretty big. This right here is a good size, and then these pieces are big. Okay, so I kind of like that. So here's our seam, it's going down. It's separating this arm with the balloon. Down here, I think we're good over here okay when we get to the bottom because it's just two small pieces i almost feel like we could do this let's delete this let's grab these two squares and this is why we can make these adjustments easily because we rounded up to the nearest whole number so to move this over like this that's pretty darn good then each foot okay this I don't like this little sliver but we can move it down a little bit okay um I almost feel like this set right here let's see if we can grab these squares well I'm not gonna make a big deal this this is good all right this is this will give us big pieces easy to deal with let's zoom out and let's start slicing so you can see what it looks like, okay? All right, so let's take this square, slice one square at a time with the image because we can only slice two things at one time. So I'm just slowly making my way around this character and slicing him up into pieces that the Cricut can cut. Then you're gonna piece together, back together, all your black pieces, okay? So we're just slicing all the way around. And once we start slicing a little bit, I'm going to move the pieces so that you can see what it looks like. I highly recommend, especially with, I mean, I always recommend it anyway, but this guy is a lot of pieces. I recommend that on this canvas, you keep him in order so that you know where your black pieces go. And this is what I mean, okay? So I'm gonna move this over. This goes right underneath, right? It matches my balloon. This one goes right over here. And then his foot goes right here. 
Right now I can delete these pieces. And I can delete this as well. Okay, so I'm gonna slice this foot. Um, it didn't let me slice because it's already sliced. Okay, that's what it is, okay. So we can get rid of this. Okay, let's slice our remaining pieces. Um, did I not delete? Okay, there we go. All right, so let's grab this, slice, this, slice, then our middle piece. Our middle piece is gonna be one huge block piece. Okay, so let's move a few of these over just to see what we have. So we've got this balloon matches this. This is why I like building the, the grid because it's so much easier to piece it back together and know where everything goes. All right, we can get rid of this. This piece, look how big that block piece is. <laughs> Goes right in the middle right here. We can get rid of this. Oops, I got rid of too much. Let me undo that. Okay, let's continue slicing. We're almost done. And I think we're done. Okay, so this goes right here. That's a big piece, 11 by 11. <laughs> this piece, so see all our pieces are relatively big and it's gonna be easy to manage and handle and tape back together. And there you have him. All right, and he's gonna look seamless. He's gonna look amazing. And especially with the other three characters, they'll be really cute. So, all right, let me know what you think. Give me that feedback and I will see you next time. Bye.